everything. So not by definition niches. I think my niche is Ugh. Oh my gosh. Good morning. Um so why did I decide it would be a good time to start talking? Okay, hi. Oh my god. Why is everything just always so chaotic with me? Um, ah, hi. Hello. I guess I haven't really said much um, in this video, but this is supposed to be like a work day in my life. A work from home day in my life. So hi, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi. Welcome, my name is Deborah. I'm so glad to have you here. And I hope you've been enjoying watching the video so far. Me and my, I don't like to say that I have chaotic energy, but sometimes I do exhibit a little bit of crack, not crackhead energy. I don't think I'm that energetic, but I'm just kind of weird and behave funnily sometimes. Right now, being a good example. Um, but I'm just taking a little bit of break from work. Um, it's been a very productive morning. I've knocked out a few reports. And one of the ways that I've been staying productive, especially at this time of the year, because this time of the year for my organization, for my role anyway, it's pretty busy. Um, and just, just just stuff that has been coming in that I have to pay attention to. And one of the things that I've been incorporating to help with like my productivity and focus is like the Pomodoro um, method of like work. So I work for like 25 minutes, take a five minute break, work for 25 minutes and just do that in sessions. And then at the end of like um, maybe like four 25 minute sessions, I take like a long 20 minute break. That's been working well for me. I look forward to like the little breaks here and there to just like catch up on things. And then another thing that I do to reduce distraction, especially when I'm working from home, is I make sure that my my actual computer, like my iMac, um, is turned off. It's not like turned off, but it's like put to sleep. Um, and by putting it to sleep, it just means that I'm less inclined to check emails or look at emails as they come in i just it's just less distractions and then for my work computer um just because i know i want to be in the zone i close out of like my email app so like outlook and teams so that i'm not just getting distracted from emails coming in and notifications from teams and stuff but yeah it's been a productive morning so far i'm really really in the zone i'm gonna get back into it in a little bit just taking a little bit of a break but i just i don't know i just wanted to introduce the vlog i was actually um going through some clips from the memory card that i'm currently recording on and a lot of the clips in there um on the memory card were from i don't know i'm thinking about this and i kind of almost want to tear up but they were from back in 2020 um and it was just me kind of packing up and getting ready to go to vancouver and it just i'm kind of crying right now 2020 was such a hard year uh for me and lots of big changes happened in 2020 i'm not sure why i'm crying <laughs> Um, lots of big changes happened in 2020. I lost my grandmother, um, whom I was very, very close with, and we weren't able to go back home for the funeral. Um, and it was really my first true taste of grief, and I did not... The way that I handled grief was just not the way that I thought I would. Um, I retreated a lot into just doing comfort things and food, and it didn't, and just like eating a lot, and... Um, it didn't also didn't help that it was during the pandemic. So 
I felt I was just really I felt isolated you know not just physically but also kind of mentally like I was just in my own world um, and of course because I was soothing myself with food I gained a lot of weight um, in that year that I struggled for a couple years to lose um, and just also being brave enough in the midst of all of that craziness to move to a new city and sort of start over and enroll in a very challenging master's program and just looking at her looking at Deborah at that point and just seeing how just despite like everything going on how hopeful she was and how determined she was to continue to push through I'm so proud of her and you know looking at those videos now and looking at myself now where I'm at it's like I'm telling her girl we we did it we didn't know how but we were able to I did not expect to sit here and <laughs> shed tears but I think it's okay to be vulnerable I'm really learning how to be more vulnerable and to lean into being more vulnerable to complete strangers on the internet mind you okay maybe not complete strangers but but yeah I just it was just a little bit of nostalgia and a lot of pride um, and a lot of pause for that girl and how far how far she's come um, I'm gonna stop talking now but I don't know I just felt led to share that but it was kind of nice to go down memory lane and to see how much has changed and how far I've come but anyway um I think that's enough talking <laughs> For now, I'm going to work for a little bit more. I have a meeting at 12, but I also want to make like, excuse me, I also want to make like these lemon bars. I don't know how long it's going to take. So maybe at like 11.30, I'll take a, I'll take a little bit of a break before my meeting at noon. And then after that, I'll get back to work. We'll see how everything progresses, but okay. I'm done talking for now and I'll talk to y'all later. So it's um, just a little bit after 2 p.m. I am just about to go back to work because I just finished my lunch break. But yeah, I like to nap on my lunch break. So I napped on my lunch break. I like to take like a 30-ish minute nap. I just find that more often than not, I wake up feeling sort of refreshed and ready to tackle the remaining half of my, of my work day. So if I can, I most like most definitely prefer to rest and nap a little bit like a power nap before going back to work but yeah um so then after a little bit i didn't show what my lunch was because it was just leftover pasta like leftover pasta la vodka but with no vodka um with some leftover trout and veggies delicious but yeah and i also made the lemon squares it turned out weird looking but it still tastes okay maybe i'll show you guys once i cut them up i put it in the fridge to solidify and cool down a bit more but yeah i just thought i'd pick up the camera real quick and let y'all know how my day is going but yeah it's been a good and productive monday so far i am having another cup of coffee a quarter past 3 p.m i don't know who the hell i think i am knowing full well that if I have coffee past like 1 p.m. I'm planning on staying up the entire night. I guess I am planning on staying up the entire night. Just joking. I will be in bed by 8 p.m. and then I will be bemoaning my decision at like 10 p.m. when I'm still tossing and turning. 
I'll be bemoaning my decision of drinking the second cup of coffee. But you know what? It tastes delicious. I'm living for the moment. And sleep is a problem future Devorah will have to deal with herself, okay? But <laughs> yeah, just joking. Usually I don't drink coffee this late. If I need like a kick of caffeine, I'll drink a kamacha, like a tea. But for some reason, I was just feeling like the taste of coffee today, so. Now capitalize on a little bit of caffeine jolt to probably power through. I do feel like I'm gonna need to, I'm, I made it up. I'm going for coffee, but really it's gonna be like tea herbal tea later this evening around six um but i do feel like when i get back from that i'm gonna need to spend a couple maybe like an hour or so just kind of clearing the deck um for work tomorrow like i said it's like a busy i don't think i mentioned it but like january and like february those are like busy months um in my role and it's just like a lot coming in so i don't mind working an extra 30 minutes an hour or whatever throughout the week just so I'm setting myself up for, you know, better results in the future, even though apparently I don't care enough about my sleep. But yeah, so that's my plan for now is just work for the next little bit, probably take a bit break, do some stuff around the apartment, maybe do some personal stuff and head out and then come back and we'll see. Ah, I can see again. white sweater this is thrifted some gym shark leggings and black kind of like blow the knee boots <laughs> um, I'm gonna wear I'm gonna wear my big oversized coat because it is kind of chilly out it's the coffee shop is not too far from my house and I considered walking but sort of decided against that because it's cold but anyway I'm gonna head out now and I'll see y'all later. Okay, hi guys. So it is a little later in the night. I have been home for um, a little bit now. It was just like a couple hours. I had some dinner, which was very unexciting. It was some toast and scrambled eggs because I don't have, I have just enough food for lunch tomorrow. So I need to go grocery shopping tomorrow after work. But yeah, so dinner was uneventful, so I didn't really feel like showing that. But yeah, um, I brushed my teeth. I've got my Laneige lip sleeping mask on and I'm ready to call it a night. I'm probably gonna watch a little bit of uh, Bob's Burgers and just kind of wait till I fully fall asleep to that. And then yeah, but yeah, thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. It really does help me out. But that is pretty much everything for now and I will chat with y'all next time in another video.